Hey everyone, Midnight Nova here, and today we're going to play some more Valheim. So today, we are finally going to be organizing the Great Hall. Because right now, it is a mess. Look at all this random junk. I moved some stuff out towards the outer edges, um, so that we could put in these beams here for the second floor. But, I really want to get rid of these. I want to have wood iron beams that come out of the, the beams holding up the, the roof, and just come out to the second story balcony catwalk thing and uh, get rid of those support legs. So we are gonna need iron. We're gonna make the wood iron beams, horizontal ones. And they're just gonna come out from the corners. And we'll just have to readjust the uh, trim on the catwalk. But this should be plenty strong to hold up the catwalk without any additional beams holding it up. Do I need to worry about any of that? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I can take these apart without having to worry about anything else. I guess this can still come down with the for the pots and pans and the other one sure why not yeah these are still blue so I don't need to worry about the strength of the beams holding up the catwalk is uh that's plenty strong yeah Perfect. I'm not going to worry about structural strength of any of this stuff. As long as we got the wood iron beams to hold it up, then uh, I can just focus completely on the aesthetic. Um, so, can I? <laughs> Ooh. Those windows are nice and bright. Can I? put these dark wood beams there we go to cover up the wood iron because it looks kind of cool honestly should I leave those here should I leave the wood iron even though everything else is trimmed with uh, dark wood let's be consistent at least let's at least be consistent with our trim there we go yeah. We'll just pretend that this dark wood here is just super strong dark wood. And it happens to happens to be able to hold up this catwalk. Yeah. Looking good. But look how cool it is up here. We got the Sea serpent, yeah. Uh, our sconces though. Any more sconces in here? Any more light? I had to take down sconces previously because they were made out of copper, and I needed the copper. But now I got a bunch, so hopefully I can afford to not only replace the sconces that I took down, but also to fuel them all. There we go, that's a little better. I have um, some torches behind there. But I should probably replace them with sconces because some for some reason, sconces are like way more fuel efficient. All right, so I'm just gonna run around the, the merchant island and just kill a bunch of gray dwarves. take their stuff because they drop wood and resin so two things that I want use my skull and hati so I can increase my knife skill by using my knife on everything I can use it on 
knife skills going up. The higher your knife skill, the more damage you do with your knives. So if I get my knife skill up really high, then I can uh, do like sneak strikes and like do my alternate attack, my knife jump. And uh, that'll do like a ton of damage. Yeah. I'll go ahead and eat another oops, another blueberry. Don't take your armor off, man. Yeah. I need to increase my knife skill until I can basically one shot most enemies not sneaking. Like, almost, I can almost one shot a gray dwarf consistently. I also want more dandelions for my chickens. But, yummy. I got 25 resin so far. Not the bad. Yeah. So we got wood, rocks, and resin from all these games. to carry so much stuff and I don't need ancient seeds but I want one I want an ancient seed so that I have a bunch of thistle so I also want more wood so I don't need deer meat darn it I'm not putting bookberries So this is perfect. They just hang out by a spawner and just collect their stuff. Oh, two star brute. Interesting. There's a two-star brute drop, you know. <laughs> Never seen a two-star brute before. Hey, I'm trying to mark it on the map. But you guys are spawning too fast. I want to max out the resin I have. I will drop something else to get more resin. Because, man, we, we just need a lot of it. We just need a lot of resin. What else can I drop? I mean, I can eat something. I'm gonna eat. Yeah. More resin. Give me more. Gridor Brute Trophy. Um, throw down the rock. I, I already have one, right? A Brute Trophy? Well, now I have another one. 
But I do want wood. I'll throw down... Well, I'll eat another... Eat another food. I'll have to make some more. That's okay, I can make more. That's not a problem. Freedom of die. We need those for portals, but man, we got 50, so we're good there. So just wooden resin. That's all. That's all I really want from these guys now. The wood, more wood, more resin. And maybe some more dandelions. Because why not? Is there a knife skill at yet? <laughs> Did we level up our knife skill significantly just from clubs, axes, fists, sneak? Knives is 22. Nice. Pretty sure it was like 19. When we when we came here. Or maybe 18. And it turned 19 immediately. Whoa. Nice. This is just a good place to grind your uh, weapon skills. Next to a gray dwarf nest. There we go. Now we're full. Time to go. Hey Vikings, enjoying the video so far? Why not give the video a like? If you'd like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And share with a friend if you think they'd enjoy it. Every little bit helps. And thanks for watching. What's going on outside? I'm hearing my, uh... My ballista's going off. And my locks is... Stomping on something. That must mean some fuelings came by. Did you guys take them out? 34 out of 40, so one of my ballistas took out a, a fueling or two. And then perhaps... Yeah, I see some uh, black metal and some skeletons down there. Locks. We got two locks calves. One regular locks is not yet tame. I can't tell what your tameness level is unless I go down there. Um, you are 70% tame. So I will leave you to tame. Skellies. What are you guys doing? Well, a ballista went off. Oh, I died. <laughs> I died from a, a fueling. I didn't realize I must have been low on health. Welp, I just lost some uh, knife skill. What was I at before? 22, and I'm at 21. Ah. Ah. All right. Let's go get my body back. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. But my ballistas are doing work. That's for sure. They are doing some work. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Now that I have... My, uh... <laughs> Now that I have my resin... Let's, uh, make our... <laughs> make our stuff. That we were gonna make. Okay. Uh, where did I drop? Over by the... the portal. I don't remember what it was. Wood? some wood. I need to put more uh, more things. More light sources in the portal room. But anyway, here we go. I'm going to put sconces on the wall. Our sconces are in the center of the bottom wall. 
the center center wall central wall and we want to make this place nice and bright nice and bright and there should be another one over here except this one is was too close to the stairs so it went out is that what it was should we put more sconces on the side but uh, i only have three copper left darn it i gotta go get more copper and then we'll make some more two at least two more sconces got a good amount more copper so we can make more sconces So I have sconces on either side of the, the throne itself, but I should also put a sconce or two right here. On the outside. There we go. Let's get nice and bright here. And again, I also have torches back here. But I want to make them sconces instead because they're more fuel efficient, more resin efficient. them so that their light will be the most accent accent worthy for the the throne itself and we'll put these dividers back on here we go there we go and then the queen trophy is so in the way Black marble throne. Here we go. <laughs> if I zoom out. Oh, I'm stuck in the throne. There we go. Oh, there we go. Now we're styling. Look at that. <laughs> oh. Just taking a look. <laughs> okay. So. We can also put a couple more back here. Yeah. Back with the, um... I want them to be... One, two, one, two, here we go, like right here. There. And we'll have a couple above the door. Or, um, on either side of the doors, but we'll also have sconces. On the walls. There we go. Because it's dark outside, but it is nice and bright in here. Should we have some sconces, like in the center? as well. I think that might look pretty nice to have some in the center. Because we do have the... Oh, here we go. The hearth is a fiery light source, but... There we go. Whoa, that kind of brightens up the center. There we go. <laughs> now that we got some more wood. Excellent. Now. Let's 
See, now the sea serpent looks nice because it's underlit, so you can see the, uh, the red color even better. And, uh, all these trophies are lit from the bottom now. The roof is a nice orangey glow from all the, not only the, the fire down there, but also the, the sconces in the, on either side of it. Our windows are all complete. So we're looking good there. But I do also want to put more of these iron gates, iron um, fences. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put up some, I'm gonna do something that I can do and just put up these little iron gates around our stairs, at least. Put them back, because we took them, we took them down because we needed the iron. Just so I can quickly go up and down these stairs without falling off. <laughs> oh, add iron. Each one costs one iron. Make a few more of these. I probably want to make some more up at the top. Basically, around all the edges that don't have a railing. Yeah. So like around the outer edges here. Probably should put more of the iron fencing. Like that. But basically all around. Should I put some on the inside of these stairs? Do I need to bother doing that? Oops. Oh, add iron again. Oh, but we need more iron for a different purpose as well. How much are the reinforced chests? They require two iron a piece. Great. We got four more. So we can make a couple more reinforced chests. The one thing I want to make a chest for is more food. And then we'll make one for just for um, trophies. Because we've got so many trophies. I need to put them in something. We'll make another reinforced chest over here for food. Um, for now, I'm going to make a reinforced chest right here. And just put all the trophies in it. Because, man, we got so many. We got to put them away. You just gotta put them away. There. Skeleton, blob, trophies. Ugh. Growth, great dwarf. Look at this. Cultist. Deer. Great or shaman. Ah. Ah. Um. Food. Food, food. Food, food, food. Put things away. Certling cores. Beach seeds. Lox trophy. 
<laughs> Trophy box. It's gonna be full. <laughs> Stirred the cauldron. Uh oh. Hold on. I can't go to sleep right now, can I? I need to eat. Here we go. And I can't leave them unattended because they'll kill my loxes, won't they? They're gonna kill my loxes if I don't go out and deal with them. So, come on over here. Away from the base. Away from the loxes, at least. Yes, yeah, skillies. The cauldron comes. Okay. Alright. Not so bad. That's taking on the other enemies that spawn at night. <laughs> Including the feelings and the ticks. Whoa. Feelings don't like ticks. Go ahead and fight, feeling. <laughs> Take him out myself. My goodness. Well, that was uh, just kind of annoying. There's still bats around, though. At least they're not messing with my loxes, because I pulled them over here. Did... Lox calf. Lox... Not... Tamed locks. Did some of my loxes get out? Are these tamed ones? They are tamed loxes and they're out. Darn it. How did you guys get out? You're frightened though. Can I not? Hey. How did you get out? Not tamed locks. Come on, get back in the hole. Back in the hole. Darn it. My loxes. Do I need to make this hole bigger? Can I not harpoon tamed loxes? I can't I can't harpoon my tamed loxes. Can I push them? I can't push them. Uh oh. Is this not big enough? What am I gonna do? My tamed loxes are out. Should I harvest them? Why are there so many, like, brutes around? They must have... The loxes must have gotten out because they were being attacked. But... Now that they're out, what do I do? I can't... 
I can't attack them and I can't harpoon them. So they're just gonna get killed by feelings and stuff. I was in the middle of something. Now my locks are out. Can I make a, a, a can I make a saddle and ride them back into the pit? Let me let's, let's go find out. Lock saddle: fifteen black metal, twenty linen linen thread, and ten leather. Locks saddle. Okay. Now how do we use it? Do we put it on our hot bar and then go up to a lox that's tame and then just like use the item? Let's go find out. Where are my tame loxes? Will still be alive? Everybody in here okay? We got a uh, baby locks and two other loxes. So one tame, one not tame. What are you not tame for? 70% tame. It's taking forever. So where is where are my tame loxes? Your tame locks, right? Yeah. Can I pet you? Yes. And then Ready for a ride. Now, how do I, do I like point? Use the saddle. Okay, here we go. We're riding the locks. Yeah, we're riding our locks. Kind of slow, but hey. <laughs> All right, now can we Um, decide where this locks goes, for instance. Because how, how do you tell it to go where you want it to go? Because it's not going anywhere that I want it to go. Whoa, locks. Is it because it's hungry? You won't listen to me unless you're fed or something? What if I give you a cloud berry? Will you listen to me? Because it wasn't turning any or anything. I give you one cloud berry. Will you eat it? There. Now you're happy. Now, will you... Turn. Go forward. How do you... No, don't fall in here. Don't go in here. Well, now you're stuck in here. That's not what I wanted. I guess I can get out from this area, but how do I make them go back into the hole? Darn it. And we'll see if we can get this one back. Aim and hungry. What if I put a berry over here? Will you come over here and eat it? You're not, you're not turning around. I want, there we go. So we'll use our saddle. Okay. Why are you going over here? Why are you trying to get into this pit here? What's wrong with you? Again, they're like, you can't really control them, can you? I can make him go forward and back. But as for like, how to make him go left and right. How do I? Uh, uh, uh. 
Like, actually, like, actually what? Okay. I see. You can hold the block button. And, ouch. Now he's frightened. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This locks is now frightened because of these stupid blobbies. I died! Because the stupid blobbies are messing with my locks. Uh, I have some bread in here. Everything is so disorganized. Oh, I was busy doing other stuff. Now I'm, I gotta go get my my tamed locks with my saddle on it back along with my body. There you are. He took care of the blobs. Let me get my body. Okay. Use the lock saddle. We'll steer him over to the pit. And we'll see if he'll go in it. If not, I'll have to dig underneath him until he falls in. Oh, come on. Go in this pit. Good boy. Now. Give me the saddle back. So left. Okay. So I can make him ride back into back into the pit. Game blocks. Are you still in here, or did you like get out and go somewhere else? There you are. Hey man. So, let's go. We can. Oh, what the? What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I'm sorry that happened to you. Can we dig you out of this, uh, this trench here. We gotta get you out of here, man. You can't... You can't be in here. Okay. A little more. Just bring the... The walls back a little bit. Can I use the saddle? And turn you around. Okay. Let's get you out of here. Back in the pit. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Now, up the hill. There you go. There's too many enemies around here. That want to kill loxes. I'm not a fan. There you go. Now. Okay. All my loxes are back in the pit. One of them's still not tame, though. That's unfortunate. Because, uh... I want to go in there and dig this pit a, bit, a little bit deeper, so they definitely can't get out. What are you doing out of the base, out of the pit? What are you doing? There's too many loxes in there. They're warping out. Like what? What is your 70%? You're still 70% tame. Work 
bench. So they're climbing on each other. Where's my saddle? You don't have it. Do one of them have my saddle still? Or did I drop it somewhere? Like a fool! Oh, it's down there. Get up. Get up, please. Get up, please. Okay, I have my saddle. <laughs> Ready for a ride. Use the saddle. Now. Did I not get my saddle back? Where'd my saddle go? Oh, it's still on there. Darn stupid locks. <sighs> they are so difficult. I just trying to get them all in a hole and then <laughs> build up the walls around it. And they keep killing me or getting out. Or both. Look at this. There's two of them out now. They're just climbing on each other. <sighs> Get it. Where's my body? Where's my body? Oh, it's down there. Oh, it's down there. What? Tameness is this locks. Like, here. Let me throw berries over there. Go get this. Go get the berries. Not tamed locks. Stop coming after me. Go get those dang berries. Get them. Get them. They have too much opportunity to get out, so. I'm just gonna raise the wall around the outside here. And then I'll leave one side accessible and then I'll leave them in there get up please yeah now you saddle use the saddle Get in there. Okay. Where's the other one? There you are. Saddle. Use, I'll pet him. And then, then you get over here Get in here. And get your saddle. 
Darn it. Get the saddle. What happened? I'm like floating here. Now. Now. To make sure you can't get out. Raise the walls. I want to dig it deeper, but I can't until this one locks is completely tamed. I put a bunch of food in there, okay? Maybe, maybe they ran out of food. Maybe he just needs to eat more and then he'll tame. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna raise the, the ground around those locks so they stay in there. They, ain't, they are not coming out. I am not gonna let them come out again. Nope. Loxes stay in there. And then, raise the ground. Always being snuck up on. I'm just so mad right now that I'm mad that it took me this long just to get the locks back in their pen, and then I'm being interrupted every five seconds by something that isn't locks taming. Workbench is not working. You are not getting out. Again, no. You're staying the heck in there. I'm making sure of it. And then... When they're all tame, then I can finally dig deeper and wider. But I just can't do that while there's a non-tame lox in the bunch. Because if there's one lox that's not tamed, it's a death trap. Because that, that one that's not tamed will kill me. Just... Continuously. All the other ones love me. But not that one. Not that one. Okay. <laughs> it's everybody else tame. For goodness sake. So I can make this section right here. Just a little bit higher. No, don't fall in. They will kill you. They will kill you. Get up there. Okay. <laughs> now. Are we good? Will you stay in there? Okay. I see a heart coming off of this non-tamed locks. Okay. So we still taming. Right. Are all my uh, sconces still still lit? Yeah, quit talking. The boss trophies. Very chatty. I don't want to hear it right now, man. Not in the mood. I killed you. Stay dead. I stirred the cauldron again. Are you kidding me? I can't be stirring cauldrons every five minutes. Why are there two 
bat things back to back. Bat to bat. Go out here. Again. Bring all the bats over here. Why so many bats? Like, I just rolled the dice on, um... Raid events. And it came up bats twice. Can't, can't... Came up snake eyes. Ugh. Just as long as they're not messing with my losses again. That's how they got out before. Because they were trying to attack the, the bats. So... They were crawling on top of each other, trying to get to them. And then they got out that way, so gotta make sure they are very far away from my losses. You know what? Get my knife skill back up. <laughs> My knife skill went down by like three levels or something because I died so many times. Cauldron comms. Like, what's my knife skill at? 19? Ah, oh, it was at 22. It was at 22. Okay. Cauldron comms. No more bats, right? They all gone now? I'm so mad at all these distractions. Please let me just organize my stuff. Ah, oh, my stuff. I'm almost out of room in my trophy box. Wow. Wow. So what we're gonna do is make another chest here. And then a sign. Let's make a little another piece of wood here. And then put a sign right here. Um what should I put in this sign, Miss Two? Anything else Miss Lands related that doesn't fit anywhere else? I'm just gonna shove in there. Because I got it all over the place. I got Miss Lands specific stuff. Just in every single box. We gotta put it somewhere else. Can't be everywhere. It has to be somewhere. Specific, so I can find it later, you know? Wow, it's already full. I'm gonna... Take apart this box... As well. And make a... Reinforced... Metals box. Like... And maybe <laughs> make a third Mistlands box. Because, <laughs> wow, I got too much stuff in the Mistlands. Too much stuff in the Mistlands. And I don't want reinforced Iter to be <laughs> not in a box. Um, so reinforced chest right here for metals. Metals. Here we go.
and iter. Metal is an iter. Iter is basically a metal, right? Sort of. We are going to have to go get more metals. I'm just going to call this Mist 3. And change burn to craft. So, woodstone craft. All my crafting stuff. Stuff you can craft with. And go in the craft box. Guess. And grab all these trophies out of here. And then there's some equipment I need to put into my Bedroom. Is the trophy box full again? That's right. Not quite, but almost. Okay. What if I just build a regular chest? Put more equipment in there. Like the harpoon. And then I got some more things in the, uh, the workshop. That don't need to be in these boxes. Like this, and this. Royal Jelly can be in Mist 3. I hear... A Deskito. That hasn't been killed. By... A ballista. Did you did you get it? Did that ballista get the Deskito? Why are these guys getting mad? Ouch. Death Skeeto. Killed it, but I died. Okay. Man, just being in my base is dangerous. Just trying to organize things. I cannot spend more than five minutes organizing boxes without something happening somewhere that demands my immediate attention. No locks has got out, right? They're all still in there. They better be. How am how are the ballistas doing? You guys still have ammunition? Well, if I could just get out where well, okay. Fuelings twenty seven out of forty. Deskitos only used one. Maybe I should make more. I'm gonna have to get some more iron. Money. I got so much money. I I need to put that gold into piles. Trophy in the trophy box. Nails in the metals box. So I'm gonna make a couple of reinforced boxes in the corner here. For now. And just get rid of these boxes. Trophies. Oh, I don't have enough room. Certainly in trophy. I probably want to use that as a light source. There we 
There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then this box. And go here. Just for meals. Meals that have already been prepared. Alright, we're gonna do one more thing this episode for the sake of organization. One more thing is to get our Thunderstone. With the Thunderstone, we can build basically a trash can. Here it is. It's called the Obliterator. And we just need to build it somewhat close. Somewhere close by. So, out back here. Sure. Somewhere away from a building, essentially. Because the Obliterator. What you do is you put stuff in it you want to get rid of. And then there's a lever. So we're going to pull the lever. <laughs> Items obliterated. And now everything in there either disappears or turns into coal. Okay, we now have an obliterator. And we can get rid of stuff that we don't want. We're gonna call it here for today. So in this episode, we reorganized the Great Hall. Uh, we removed all the support beams that were leading down from the catwalk above down to the floor. And we cleared out all the things that were in the way here and moved everything out to the outside, including all the boxes. Um, we organized all the stuff in uh in our workshop um we built out a bunch more of the reinforced chests after smelting some iron and uh we built the lox saddle as well and we we figured out how to ride loxes but only because the loxes got out and we had to ride them back into the pit so i reinforced the height of the pit a bit more and um made it so they can't get out even if they j climb on top of each other in the next episode, we're going to do a little more organization. We're going to put all that stuff in the corner behind me onto the wall, all the boss related items. We're going to get some more metals, probably, because we are getting low on iron and copper. We need to make a whole bunch more food before we venture out again. And we might make more ballistas because the ones that I have work pretty well, but there's just not enough of them. So if you would like to follow along in our adventure, and see how the base build goes and resource gathering, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you'd like to make a comment down below or hit the like button, that would be appreciated as well. So until next time, thanks for watching.